FC Cincinnati. We had a bit of a debate last week, Bob, like whether they're a good team or not. Are you convinced that Cincinnati's a good team now? Have you have you have you turned over a new a new page on FC Cincinnati? No, I think they have some major problems all over the field, to be completely honest, and I don't see them getting better. But they are a couple of offensive pieces, like two strikers, away from being the easy best team in Major League Soccer. I think that's going to be addressed, and I think all they have to do is hold on until the summer transfer window, and you know they're going to be cooking with fire for sure. Uh, Hmm. This weekend, they're hosting Atlanta United coming off that aforementioned 3-2 loss. To uh, to DC United plus three ten for an away win. Cincinnati considerable favorites ahead of this one here. And once again, Cincinnati coming off that rivalry matchup two one win at Columbus last weekend. The total sits at three on this one. All three of us have a play in this one. Uh, Dan, you can bat lead off on here. Yeah, and and mine comes a bit out of left field. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' breakdowns on this because I I think we could see, and and this is why I'm going to be a little bit more hesitant. I know that we always get faded or we get graded as full unit bets here. Full disclosure, this bet for me would be more like a half unit bet just because I want to see how some of these Wednesday fixtures, these midweek fixtures play out before I start pulling off the rubber band a little bit more and and betting a little bit bigger on these plays. But, um, you know, why are we always dead set on picking a team to win in the game? You know, they have those three line outcomes for a reason. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun here with a little plus 400 action and go both teams to score because I think we are going to see some goals in this fixture. But how about we get a draw, maybe a little 2-2 action in this one? Look, five of the last 13 meetings between these two sides has ended in a draw. Two of Cincinnati's three draws this year have come at home. Atlanta, I mean, they're they're draw palooza, five draws on the year. Two straight of them have come on the road for this side. So, um, you know, I, I, I can make a case for both of the teams in this game. I like Atlanta's offense to have some positive regression. I think Cincinnati is playing some of their best soccer, some of their best football of uh, of the season thus far. And, and, and it got me a win last week. But um, just because I can make cases for both sides, I'm getting a plus 400. I think we see goals and hey. Why not root for a draw for once here on the MLS show? Can't do it. Both teams to score and the draw. Yes, I'm being that guy, Gareth. Give me the plus 400. That's the play for me. That that's that's okay. I I find myself. I generally will bet on like one draw a season, and it's like and this it jumps it. off the like every game. <laughs> these two sides draw. Like it's it's yeah. in a s- certain spot in the calendar. This isn't it. This isn't it. I'm not. I'm not gonna bet on the result here whatsoever. But I know that Bob is. Uh, where's your lean? Yeah, I'm taking FC Cincinnati minus one thirty. Now, as Woo! a New York Red Bull supporter, I don't like this game at all. It's our oldest <laughs> rival against our. It's, it's our most recent rival against our biggest defeat in team history rival with Atlanta. So I I don't like a whole lot going on here at all, but I did feel compelled to bet taking FC Cincinnati minus 130, and it's because in the state that Atlanta's offense is in right now, and they're just not clicking, I don't see them scoring a goal. I I am on the under on this side. I think Cincinnati can squeak out with a Luciano Acosta uh, goal and leave with a one nothing victory. Um, Cincinnati, while they have been up and down, uh, they've been pretty solid on defense. Ten goals conceded in 12 matches so far. That's not something Atlanta United wants to see right now in the state that their offense is in. So I'm just uh, taking FC Cincinnati minus 130 and I'm going to hold my nose when the game's on. I, I (laughs) <laughs> you know, that's that's about where I'm at right now. But uh, I've seen Cincinnati minus 130 again, home team, short week, weird stuff. Uh, you got to stick with the team that won the supporter shield last year. Wow. You're really going to hate my play then, Bob. I see and what for it is. Someone yeah. who thinks that there's lots of holes in the Cincinnati team backing in this spot. It's a bold move. I'm going a little bit of a different play. I liked over the total up by minus 115. I want a little bit more juice here. So give me a big plus number, a big plus 183 on Atlanta United team total over a goal and a half in this one. So I'm kind of going the opposite direction. Look, despite Cincinnati winning four games in a row, they have been an over team. They played over two and a half in five of six, and that includes both teams to score in six of seven. Atlanta did score twice last week, and they're fourth overall in Major League Soccer and expected goals. They're creating chances. The finishing always hasn't been there, but they're creating chances, so they're punching under their they're not punching their weight. Atlanta played over two and a half and five of six, and both teams of scores played in five of seven. More importantly to this head-to-head matchup, there is goals in this fixture. 
Uh, both teams to score has played in five of six. Neither team has a clean sheet in four. Um, and overall, um, Atlanta has scored two goals in four of the last five games that they played Cincinnati. And the other game of the five, they did score in that game, and they probably should have had more because their XG was, was higher than two. So... Uh, based upon trends, what Atlanta can produce from an attacking perspective, I have more questions about them defensively, to be honest with you, than anything going forward. Last week, they almost doubled up on DC United in terms of XG and chances created. They just lost the game to Christian Benteke. So um, I think there'll be goals in this game. It's a little bit more of a roll of the dice because it's a team total rather than the overall total. But at plus 183, it's being bet down too, by the way, guys. It was plus 194 when I first clocked it in. So uh, there has been a little bit of a shift, uh, and we'll see where things end up. So three very, very different (laughs) plays for FC Cincinnati and Atlanta. Let's lock in those three plays. Dan with the both both teams to score and a draw, yes, at plus 400. Wow. Bob with an FC Cincinnati outright win. And myself, uh, two goals uh, for Atlanta United. By the way, there is a chance that we all could win that bet. Cincinnati just needs to win, you know. Uh, actually, we can't because Dan yeah, is the can't. draw. I'm Sorry. Rooting, I'm rooting, I'm for, trying to tie. Be- I'm rooting yes. for the draw. I'm the guy that ruins the, the perfect trifecta situation in this one. I, I can still win with both of you as long as Atlanta yes. United scores yes. goals. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of cheering for, for both of you, but more for me. <laughs> uh, 